after meeting with the Israelites to let them know that God had heard their cries and was coming to their rescue, Moses and Aaron delivered God's message to Pharaoh. Let my people go. But Pharaoh refused because God had hardened his heart. Instead of showing mercy, Pharaoh was cruel and made the work and lives of the Hebrew slaves even more difficult than before. The showdown was at hand between God and Pharaoh. Who was the true king? Who was all-powerful? Whose command could not be ignored? God told Moses not to fear, but instead prepare to witness his mighty power as he forced Pharaoh to let his people go. The next morning, Moses again came to Pharaoh, and again Pharaoh refused to let the Hebrew people go. So, at the Lord's command, Moses told Aaron to stretch his staff over the Nile River, and the waters turned to blood, causing the fish to die and the waters to become undrinkable. But Pharaoh's heart hardened further, so God sent a second plague. This time, frogs covered every inch of the land. This became so unbearable that Pharaoh begged Moses and Aaron to make this plague stop. The morning of the following day, Moses returned to Pharaoh and commanded him to let God's people go. And again, Pharaoh refused. God had Aaron strike the dust with his staff, and gnats swarmed the land, covering both people and animals. When Moses came to Pharaoh again the next day, Pharaoh again refused Moses' request to let the people go. In response, God sent a fourth plague, flies. Like a black cloud, flies covered every part of Egypt, except where the Hebrew slaves lived, spoiling the land and entering every Egyptian's house, including Pharaoh's palace. Once again, Pharaoh pleaded with Moses and Aaron to end this plague. God sent Moses to Pharaoh again, but Pharaoh still refused to listen to God. The next day, God sent a severe plague upon the Egyptians that killed their donkeys, camels, herds, and flocks. This hardened Pharaoh's heart even more against God. Again, God sent Moses to Pharaoh. When Pharaoh refused God's command yet again, Moses threw soot into the air, and it became dust that covered the land of Egypt, causing all the people in Egypt to break out into painful sores. Pharaoh's heart hardened by God, made it so he continued to disobey God's command to let the Hebrew people go. God told Moses to go back to Pharaoh and warn him that the coming plagues would be much more destructive and harsh than the last. But Pharaoh still wouldn't listen. When Moses stretched his hand toward heaven, God sent a hailstorm unlike any that had ever been seen before in the land. It destroyed plants and homes and killed animals and people. Pharaoh confessed that he was wrong, but again his heart hardened and he rejected God's command. Then God sent a plague of locusts. These insects covered the land and devoured the last remaining plants and trees in Egypt, leaving the once lush farmland surrounding the Nile a barren desert wasteland. Pharaoh was still unwilling to release God's people, so at God's command, Moses stretched his hand up to the sky, and a heavy darkness swallowed Egypt. For three days, no Egyptian saw another person or left their house. Pharaoh summoned Moses and Aaron so he could try to make a deal to end the plague of darkness. Pharaoh said everyone could go to worship the Lord if all the Hebrew people left their flocks and herds behind. When Moses and Aaron refused this offer, Pharaoh commanded them never to come back or they would be killed. With the people still enslaved, God told Moses there would be one final plague, a plague so severe, Pharaoh would have no choice but to free God's people. 
God told Moses that throughout the land of Egypt, every firstborn boy would die. God told Moses to tell the Hebrews to cover the doorposts of their homes with the blood of a lamb, and God would pass over their homes. At midnight, the firstborn sons in every Egyptian household died, including Pharaoh's own son. From the lowliest of servants to Pharaoh's palace, there was no home in Egypt untouched by death. This plague so devastated the land of Egypt that Pharaoh commanded God's people to leave. The Hebrews, who had been in slavery for generations, had been set free.